Hi guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. I'm coming around. Okay, I'm almost there. Hi guys. Okay, guys, I wanted to um I am just busting out these videos today. <laughs> I've had a lot of since I started doing these videos, I've had a lot of people ask me questions and um I'm so honored that you guys are asking these questions and trust me to answer them. So I'm doing my best to answer the questions. If I don't know the answers, I will honestly tell you I don't know the answers, but I probably will go search them out for you, okay? Because um, I don't know everything, that's for damn sure. This is, a big, this is a big game, okay? And nobody knows all the answers. But I can just share the things and the things I've learned and experienced over the last, how long I've been doing eBay? Four years? Three or four years? So... Okay, so this video is going to be, I have some notes, you guys, okay, because I want to make sure I cover all this. Um, oh, okay, this is what some people, I guess there are some people on eBay, on YouTube right now who don't have stores, and they want to know the difference, like, what's the advantages of having a store, and why have a store, or just not have a store and just list things on eBay, okay? So, excuse my glasses, but I got to put these on because this information is small. Okay. There's a thing called a basic store, and um, the main thing with the basic store, which I still have a basic store, I'm probably going to be moving up to a premium pretty soon, but right now I have a basic store. A basic store costs $24.95 a month. Um, if you pay yearly, like the whole thing in advance, it's $19.95. Um, the biggest advantage right there of having, the, of having a store, a basic store, is you get your first 250 listings for free per month. Because right now, if you don't have a... Um, if you're just listing things on eBay, you're getting charged a listing fee. Okay, you don't get you your first 250 are free. Um, also, you get uh, okay, so you get low listing fees. You get a sales report. Also, you have a the selling manager. Um, and I'm trying to see here really quickly. And selling manager is awesome because well, I should say this: you get seller hub, and that's what's awesome. And Seller Hub, it's one page where you have everything there. All your, you have a, a everything is, all everything is listed there. Like all of your, um, um, how many listings you have, how many things you have that are drafts, um, what kind of rate of uh, seller you are. If you're a top rated seller, that's listed on there. Um, they'll have a little chart of how good your sales are doing. Um, They'll have another chart of how good your sales were last year to this year. Uh, I mean, all the information you possibly, even like they have some like, um, they have some little um, information that they want to let you know or some offers that they're offering you, they'll put that on their page. So you'll have this seller hub and it's just one section you go to to run your entire business. It's really, really nice. So that is awesome. Um, and your selling manager is in your seller hub, I believe. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. The next thing, premium store, which I don't have, which I'm probably going to be end up moving up to this because I list a lot of items. Um, yearly, it's $59.95 a month um, if you pay all at one time. If you don't, it's $74.95 per month. Um, and you get your first thousand listings for free. Okay? So there's no reason to move up to a premium store unless you're listing a thousand things a month. If you're not, you might as well stick with the basic store plan. Um, or if you're getting close to a thousand, if you're at like, you know, seven or eight hundred, you're getting close to a thousand a month, you might just want to go ahead and obviously um, go ahead and get the premium store. Um, Let me just see. You get this. You get the sales report like the other one, and you get and this one you get seller manager manager pro for free. So the other one's selling manager. This one you get selling manager pro, and these selling managers, I believe, yeah, are in the seller hub. But everybody gets seller hub, the one page that has everything on there. Like like I said, all your listings um, tells you if you're a top rated seller, gives you a, a, a chart of how you're doing. Okay, now there's an anchor store. Yearly, it's two hundred ninety nine a month, and that's if you pay for it all at one time, or you pay three hundred and forty nine dollars a month. Um, you guys are doing some high, high volume selling, okay? This one is you get your first ten thousand listings for free per month. Dang, you're doing some serious listing, okay? Um, 
That's your highest listing fee discounts. You get a sales report plus, and you get that with everything. But um, And then um, Selling Manager Pro for free. Okay, but your big thing is you can list 10000 a month. So your basic store, you can list 250 listings. Premium store, you can list 1,000 listings for free. And your anchor store, you can list 10,000 listings for free. 10,000, um, that's a lot of listings. Anyway, um, okay, this is what I'm going to say right here. And this is what it says on the paper here. It says, all plans include these features. An easy to create branded store experience that aligns with retail standards. So you get to create your store. It looks really, really cool. And it's very easy to do it, you guys. It's step-by-step -step process. And you just follow the directions and you do it. So, um, Lower final value fees, up to 12 free photos per listing. So you can you can have up to 12 photos, which is really cool. And also, um, and I'm sure it's probably on the other one too. You can take, I love doing it. I always play with the lighting. You can play with the, and this is, I think, I believe when you don't have a store too. But you can play with your lighting. So if you need to make like, if something sh weird light is shining on something and it needs to be deeper or darker, you can make it darker or you can make it lighter. If you have like too much room, like here's your blouse and down here's all the, your background, you can totally shrink that up and have it so that you don't have t too much background. I love it. You can take, there's this little wand and you can hit the little wand and then make everything brighter if it needs to be brighter in the picture. So there's a lot of really good editing that's right there when you're, um, when you're uploading your photos. I believe you have that if you don't have a store too. I think it's been so long since I haven't had a store. So, um, and if I'm not correct in that, let me know below. Okay. Um, okay. Huge sales and marketing tools, including Markdown manager. That is huge. Markdown manager is awesome. You guys, um, if you want to create a sale, you can create a sale. You can't create sales unless you have a store. So I always have a sale going. Your sales will be better if you always have a sale. So what I've started doing, and I, I need to correct myself. Okay, I was putting, I was putting like if I wanted, if I wanted a certain price, like if I want fifteen ninety five for my jeans, which fifteen nine or sixteen ninety five is what I want for my basic jeans, unless they're worth more. Okay, and then I put best offer, but I'm not leaving myself any room for a sale. So now I'm marking everything up five or six dollars higher than I want than I want it. So if I want fifteen ninety five or sixteen ninety five, it's getting marked up to nineteen ninety five. And I'll still put best offer there. So then that way I know I know my base price though is $15.95. I don't want to go below $15.95 on these jeans. But I'm asking $19.95. Someone might just pay the $19.95. Or maybe I get them to pay now $16.95. Um, and also it leaves room for a 20% off sale for me. So that I still get the price I want for the jeans. Okay? Or for whatever I'm selling. Um, and that way too, I always have a sale. If I was you guys, I'd always be running a sale. Always. 10, 15, 20%. Um, if you mark things up enough or you're willing to lose a little bit more money, you can do a 30 or 40% off sale. Or if you have a bunch of stuff that you need to get rid of, you can run a 50% off. And this thing, you can run a 50% off only on certain items. You can also make that choice. Okay. So that markdown manager is powerful and people love a sale. They love to see that little red, those little red letters that say sale. Okay. What happens when you go into a regular store? What do you go to first? The red sign to say sale, of course. So do the same thing in your store. So it's a huge thing to always have a sale. You will see your sales go up if you always have one. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to say about that? The other thing I like, um, there's a vacation mode. So if you're on vacation, you can just put your whole store on vacation. Okay, I was doing that, but actually, okay, in my opinion, I was doing that and I was being a dumbass because I was missing sales. Okay, I may be on vacation for a week. Don't miss sales. This is what I do. Some people won't agree with me, but this is how I do it. Um, I just extend my handling period. Now, I have um, a one-day handling period because I want to be a top-rated seller, but you're not going to lose your top-rated seller or your top-rated your top rate seller if you do this for seven days okay so what I do is for seven days or however long I'm on vacation I extend my handling time out so I look on my calendar and I, if I need to extend it out 10 days I extend it out 10 days and you can do this in bulk that's the other thing you have a choice of whatever you're doing you can do it to all your items okay and you can do it in bulk so if you do it in bulk um, you click this thing on the top and it puts a check on all your, your listings like I have 300 listings in my hard goods store 
it'll cook all of those and then I can make the choice that I want to put my handling time to be 10 days and um, then that way I am selling stuff the whole time I'm on vacation and I always do this I, if, if I need 11 do 11 days so you have one extra day when you get back that you don't have to have the stuff do get the stuff out that day you can get the stuff out the next day so it gives you an extra day so you're not too stressed and then you can go back and you can um, click it again and have all have your um, handling time put back down to one day handling time. Um, let me see what else there is. Okay, I'm just looking at my notes, you guys, real quick. Oh, this is what I want to discuss. So, if you do want to be a top rated seller, um, you need to have um, one day handling time. You have to be willing to take returns up to 30 days now I know some people are afraid of that and they want to only do the 14 days but you guys who gives a crap okay most people don't return stuff anyway my returns are really super low so it don't matter if it's 14 days or 30 days they want the items usually yes you're gonna have the people who want to rip you off wear the item and then ship it back but it doesn't happen very often you got to look at the longer picture how many people are doing that to how many people are keeping the item way more people are keeping the item than are shipping that item back so they want what usually what they buy is what they want so the 30-day um, makes the customer feel good and it makes eBay feel good and then that way you get that top rater um, status um, also um, there are some final value fees at the end like you know that 13% I said that eBay takes and 13% is what eBay and PayPal takes I just combined those together. I came up with that number. Some people say 15%, but I've looked at it and between what PayPal, what eBay fees are and what PayPal fees are is about 13%. But if you have that top rater status, um, that 13%, I believe gets lowered. I believe that's how it works. And if I'm wrong, someone can let me know. Um, but anyway, you want that top rater status. Because a lot of people won't buy from people who don't have top rater status. Because what that means is that you take 30 day returns, you handle your business. If people have problems, you're handling your customer service and you're handling customer service well. Um, you have one day handling time, which means, you know, you're, if they order something, you're getting it out the next day. If not the same day. The rule is the next day if you have one day handling time. Um, and that just looks really good to customers. It just looks like you really know what you're doing and you're running your business well. So... Um, let me just look and see if there's any other advantages here on my notes. Well, I, you know, it's saying here that this plan includes a toll-free service from 5 to uh, 10, 7 days a week. But, I mean, everybody gets that anyway. I was using that before um, before I became a store. Um, okay, when you're a top-rated seller, you either get them for free. I'm not sure how this works because I don't get them for free. But you get discounts on financial services, office and shipping supplies, graphic design, and more. I need to look into these um, office supplies because I haven't gotten any of my office supplies to them. And I need to see about the discounts. So I haven't done that. So I'm going to check on that today. Um, and I'll let you guys know after I check that out about the discounts. And if anybody knows about the discount at shipping supplies, you can leave that information below. Um, I don't know about the graphic design and more. So if anybody has information about that. Leave that below too for other people. I do know about the financial services, and I think this is really cool. Um, let's suppose you really want to um, increase your business, but you don't have the money to increase your business, but you have the drive and the will to increase your business. You can, and I'm not sure all of the ins and outs of it, but, you, but eBay gives out loans to gives out loans to um, uh, I believe people who have eBay stores. And um, I'm sure you have to have an eBay store and um, and maybe have be a top rated seller. There's probably some requirements. I think top rated seller, you have to have an eBay store and maybe you had been doing business for like three or four months so they can see that you're, you know, a serious seller um, and you can get a loan from them and um, and then you pay back um, so much a percentage of your sales. I believe that's how it works. But the main thing is you know that you have that opportunity if you need that, that you can get your business really started um, when you really want to power start your business. There's loans that eBay offers um, offers you. And I believe it's not based on like credit. It's based on your performance with eBay. So, and like I said, I'm not sure of how long you have to be with eBay. 
to to um to qualify that would just be something you need to check out because i haven't had to do that but um i wanted to let you know that that's available and i've heard of people's stories on ebay who have taken advantage of that and they've done very very well so okay um i think that's it you guys so i hope that really helps people who um really want some information on what's the difference between just being a seller on eBay and having a store. And you guys, I wouldn't be afraid of having a store, especially don't be afraid of having a basic store. It's $24 a month, um, $24.95 a month. You damn well know that you're gonna sell $24.95 worth of stuff a month to cover that. Plus, you're gonna get, you're not gonna pay for listing fees anymore. Um, you're gonna get a sales report. You're gonna have a store. I told you all the advantages that you're gonna get. So it's just huge. Uh, and you look like a more serious seller, okay? when you have a store. Um, so don't be afraid of it. Um, there's so many advantages. I've listed all the advantages to it. Um, I'm so happy I have a store. So I encourage everyone who wants to be serious about eBay, who wants to sell more than just, you know, a couple of things here and there. If you're getting serious about eBay, get a store for sure. Okay, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. Um, if you can give this video a thumbs up, leave any comments and questions below. Any of the things I said I wasn't sure of and you have the answer to, Go ahead and leave that below because I never claim to know everything ever. eBay is a big game, okay, you guys? And none of us are ever going to know everything. So it's nice to go ahead and share information with each other and teach, teach each other, you know, um, this eBay world. Um, I have two things now. Um, I have Instagram, and I'd love for you guys to come and join me on Instagram. I'm taking, um, I have a lot of cool photos going up all the time about things I've sold, um, things I find when I'm at the thrift stores. Um, I'm gonna start doing some quick videos. Like if I have, some, you can do a little video. So if I have some information I wanna get out or some good content that's two or three minutes, I can just shoot it really quick. Kind of like YouTube, it's kind of cool. So join me on there. Also, if you can, join me on Snapchat. If you don't have a Snapchat, you guys get a Snapchat because it's really cool. It's like, now that's really like a YouTube. Um, you can sh do little videos, like two or three, four or five minute videos. So you don't have to like commit a bunch of time to make a YouTube video. You could just Snapchat it really quick. Um, I think it only lasts, yeah, for 24 hours and then it goes away. Um, but it's a really good way to quickly get out some content and some ideas that you have for whatever you're doing. So join me on Snapchat also. Um, and of course, you guys, I'll always join you back. Um, I think that's it. Yes, that is it. All right. Talk to you guys next video. Bye.